Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is day number three of Thriftmas and I'm super excited to keep the ball rolling. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jenna and I'm thrifting every single day until Christmas and I'm bringing you along with me. So I just got ready for the day. There is a lot of dry shampoo in my hair and I did my shipping. So my shipping's back here in the corner. My sales from yesterday and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that off at the post office and then go thrift while I am out so I think I'm gonna hit up a different Goodwill for sure today than I went to the past couple of days and then I'm gonna go to one that's near a Plato's closet and I might go to Plato's closet as well just depending on time and how much I find but sometimes I like to pop in there and just see what I can find there um, not too frequently because honestly like I said I feel like I've said this in every video but we have so many Goodwills here that I have a lot of options um, but yeah Plato's closets always fun too so I'm gonna head out and bring you guys along like I said I also need to do some cleaning today so I'll probably um, kind of show you a little behind the scenes later I'm gonna clean this room up a little bit and then also my room where I take photos and everything because if you guys are resellers too, you know there's always clothes and stuff everywhere. As much as I try to stay on top of it, it just gets everywhere. So I'm trying to keep it pretty organized because with all of this going on, it just helps me to be a little bit less stressed to keep it clean. So I'm trying to stay on top of it each day and I haven't done a good job so far and we're only on day three of thrift miss. So I'm going to clean that up later and yeah, let's just go ahead and get our day going. everything into the fitting room that I picked out and I'm going to go through everything in here and see what I want to keep and check for flaws and this is actually the pile of what I decide to keep I always take everything off the hangers and get it ready for the cashier and this is everything that I decided to pass on so first is this Areve dress um, this brand can be hit or miss I think it's really pretty very free people ask but I decided to pass just based on I don't know style <laughs> and then the next item is a J. Crew graphic sweatshirt. It's J. Crew factory with the zebras on it. I thought it was cute. It had some stains on it. I probably could have gotten them out, but I decided it was not worth my time to do so. And then the next item, I loved this sweater. It's such cool colors, crazy, vintage, oversized, all the good kind of things. And I really wanted to get this. However, it has flaws. It's ripped at the shoulder on both sides, and I didn't think it could be fixed, nor was it worth it. So I passed. And then the next item is a kimono. I love picking up kimonos, especially like colorful printed ones. This one's just Forever 21. Brand doesn't really matter, but it was a little bit short. I feel like longer kimonos do better in my opinion. And then the next top is this really pretty bohemian patterned peasant blouse. I think I've sold this in the past and it took forever to sell because it's joie. Joie just doesn't sell well for me. Sometimes the silk pieces do, but this was just a cotton top and I decided to pass even though it's pretty. And then this is a Lily Pulitzer blouse, which I talked about Lily in the past. It doesn't sell well for me, except this style of blouse, which I think is the Elsa. And I liked the print. However, it has this huge rip in the front. So I went ahead and passed on that one, unfortunately. And the final item is an anthropology top. It's embroidered, it's short sleeve, it's by Tiny. Um, it has this like cinching in the back. I just felt like the style wasn't anything special. So I went ahead and passed on it. Um, yeah, just based on style. 
So I just finished up at Goodwill. I spent about an hour and a half in there. Um, I didn't go through every section. I was not in the mood to do dresses. Um, I don't know if you guys have this at your Goodwill, but they hang the dresses kind of higher up and then they're packed so tight that you're like trying to push them apart to look and it's like a shoulder workout, I swear. So I wasn't really in the mood to do that today, but I looked at pretty much everything else. I found some really awesome jackets and some other pieces, which I'll show you later. But I just came over to the Play-Dohs that's close by and I'm gonna go in there. I'm probably not going to look through the entire store because I don't want to spend too much time here. I'll probably just go through like t-shirts, accessories, um, shoes, and that might be it. So I'm going to run in and see what I can find and then head home so I can start cleaning. Okay, I'm back home and I thought I would just show you a little glimpse into my workspace, which is kind of messy right now that I need to clean. The main thing being I need to put away all this bagged inventory on the floor. I am okay at bagging it and keeping up with it, but I'm terrible at putting it away. It always piles up. So that's something I need to do real quick. And then I have some other stuff hanging here that I need to put away. Those are new boutique items. I have this collage wall that I'm thinking about hanging on the wall here and doing like a little backdrop just to have a different setup. And then over here, just more stuff to put away. I have like my little photo box area. I have some cleaning supplies in that drawer thing. This is where I take my photos and I have my items I just picked up. I just hung those there. So I'm going to go through that haul in a second. And then I'll show you my other inventory room, which is also like my office that I work out of. This one's not too bad right now. I have some boxes to put away. Um, those are some home items that I still need to list and then just clean up some stuff on the floor. So nothing too crazy, but I try or I'm trying to stay on top of it so I don't get too stressed out. But first, let me show you what I just picked up. So this is the stuff I just picked up today and I've split it into items from Plato's Closet and then items from Goodwill. And I was only in Plato's Closet probably for like 15 minutes. Um, I just didn't see a lot. I didn't want to spend a lot of time in there because I knew I needed to come home and get to work and we're going shopping tomorrow. So the first four items I picked up at Play-Dohs and the first thing is this vintage Dooney and Burke bag. It's just a little crossbody bag. It's navy blue and it is their like all weather leather and it's got this huge duck on the front. I don't typically pick up Dooney and Burke. I see it quite a bit but it hasn't sold that well for me in the past but I really like this style and this style seems to do a little better. It's kind of a smaller crossbody. Like, I don't know if you can tell it's about the size of my hand, but just really good condition. So grab that. They didn't have it priced too high. And then I also picked up, I picked up a bunch of Patagonia. So uh, Patagonia does really well for me this time of year. This is a women's size eight flannel shirt. And I like that it's striped and not like your typical plaid flannel. Kind of looks like Serape stripe, like a Western style. So I got that. And then I picked up this Patagonia fleece. This is the um, Cinchilla Snap Tee. The style is really popular, especially the printed ones. This one is a size small. Sorry, my camera's having trouble focusing lately. I need to check on the settings. But yeah, it's um, a size small. And this one, they didn't have it priced too high because it does have a little bit of flaws um, or just really on the cuff here. As you can see, it's got like, I don't know, the elastic's a little loose, but I have an alterations lady that I'm going to take it to tomorrow. So this one's probably going to be listed in a couple days because it just needs to get fixed. But other than that, it's like new. It's just the cuff. So um, I thought it was worth it to get it fixed. And then I picked up another... Um, Cinchella Snap Tea Patagonia. This one's a size medium, but this one I'm keeping for myself. I thought I would just show you because you guys always want to know what I'm keeping for myself. And this one is a little bit more worn. Um, it has a little bit of like wash wear and some, um, I don't know, it's not really pilling, but I don't really care to me. It's just like an oversized comfy fleece. So I'm keeping that one. So those four items are from Play-Dohs and then all of this stuff I got at Goodwill. And starting off with this t-shirt, it is just a J. Crew size small tee and it's got the metallic stars all over it. Um, the metallic star or just like any star print stuff in general seems to do really well for me. You'll see I found another piece. So I picked this up. Um, it'll probably go for around 20, so not a ton, but I thought it was really cute. And then the next item is this striped tee and it's got the peplum hem. So that like skirted bottom is a peplum hem. And the brand on this one is stateside. It's a size medium. They carry this brand sometimes at Anthropology. They also sell it at Nordstrom. Um, the resale's not like crazy. I think this will probably sell anywhere from like 20 to 25, but just a good solid piece. 
And then this top, I was excited to find this brand. I've only found it a couple times before. It's called Jen's Pirate Booty, and they sell it. Um, it's kind of like a higher-end bohemian line, kind of like Spelled and Gypsy, but not as expensive. So I picked this up. I love the style. It's just like an oversized top with kimono sleeves. It's kind of cropped, and um, it's a size small. Okay, this next top is just a white, like, oversized poncho top. It's by Arian Alley from Anthropology. It's a size large. I kind of debated on this one because it was a little more plain, but it's in, like, new condition, and it has these cool openings on the side, so I thought it would be really nice. You could layer it over, like, a long sleeve, or you could wear it in the summertime, so pretty versatile. And then this next item, I could tell when I saw it on the rack that it was really good quality. It's just a really pretty, like, metallic knit poncho, or I guess you could call it a cape because it's not connected on the sides at all, and on the tag I only saw this which you might recognize this if you um, like free people because it's a free people tag but it's missing that little metal bar but I decided to pick it up anyway because I know it's free people someone's gonna enjoy this and another way that you can tell it's free people is by the inside label um, that's their label as well so I'll just disclose in the listing that that little metal bar is uh, missing but I'm still gonna list it as free people Okay, this next item is a long sleeve top. It's got the tiered design, and then it has these long tiered sleeves with the lace detail on the end. This is a boutique brand. Um, it's called Pole, P-O-L, and it's a size medium. I've been picking up some cuter, like, boutique-style pieces because I think they do well on Posh. I'll probably sell this one for around 25 to 30 and then a couple anthropology tops. Um, I passed on quite a few anthropology tops, but I did pick up these two long sleeve ones. So this one is by Tiny, it's a size medium, and it's a really pretty mixed like floral paisley print, and it's got this faux wrap detail on the front. And then this next one is also by Tiny. It's also a size medium. And I thought this one was good for the holiday season because it has all this like patchwork embroidery and kind of a metallic design and then the back of its jersey. So those are just good like basic pieces, maybe 25 to 30 on those. And then I hit the jacket jackpot. <laughs> it's kind of a tongue twister, jacket jackpot. And they all kind of look the same color. But the first one is this brand Lissy, which I found out about recently. I saw it at a boutique when I was in Sedona. They carry like really nice leggings and stuff. And it kind of reminds me of Spanx, but it's not like restricting. So this is an extra small and it's this faux leather jacket. It's got the draped front. It also has faux suede paneling. So just a really nice comfortable jacket. It's really stretchy. I have no idea what these sell for. They probably retail for over 100 so maybe $50 on this one. Okay, this next jacket caught my eye when I was going through the rack. And again, it has stars on it. So this is a star embroidery jacket. It's kind of like a trucker style. It's a little oversized and it has these pockets. And it's a faux suede. It's also kind of stretchy. It's just a really nice material. It feels like great quality. And this brand is a boutique brand. Again, it's THML. This is a size medium and you could wear it open or you could wear it closed. Obviously, it's got the stars on the back. So I don't know, maybe like 35 to 40 on this one. I don't know how much this brand typically goes for. I'll probably try and look it up, but it's just a nice like current piece. And then the final item is probably one of my favorite pieces. It's this faux suede moto jacket and it is from Anthropology, and it looks like it's a newer tag. Um, it's kind of hard to read the brand name. I thought it said etiquette or something when I first saw it, but it's called Et Toi, and it's by Anthropology. It's a size small, and it's got this really pretty lining, and again, just faux suede um, moto jacket in a great color for the fall, and this one is a pretty current style. I already looked it up, and there's some listed right now for like $100. I'll probably start this one around $75 and see how much it goes for, but that is everything that I picked up today.